All right, we were wondering, is there a better way to x-ray? Yeah, well, Tim and Zell may have found one this morning. Mm -hmm. He's checking out the DMX Motion x-ray machine this morning. Yeah, we have no clue what that means, but Tim is here to clue us all in. Hi, Timmy. Yeah, gang, uh, you may remember a few years ago when I swam into the swimming pool wall and broke my nose. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, I have a confession to make. Uh, a few weeks ago in Mississippi, I swam into another swimming pool wall. It could oh, happen no. to anybody twice, Dr. Sid Sharice Williams. Yes, that is possible. Yeah, so I've had a little, this time I hit it head like here. So I didn't get the nose damage, but I did get the little whiplash action out of the deal. And this new uh, motion x-ray should be a good way to kind of check things out, right? Absolutely. So when someone has trauma to the neck, we do flexion and extension films in which we can do here in real time. Okay, so let's, line let's it try up. it up here. Okay, so I'm going to line up here. Yes. And get in position. Well, lean, forward just a lean forward just a little bit. All right, so let's, go, let's look at the ceiling. Okay, I'm looking up. Let's look at the floor. I'm looking at the floor. Back to the ceiling. Back to the ceiling. Then back to the back floor. Back to the floor. One more time. And, and then look straight ahead. Boom. And stop. All there right. you go. Cool. All right, then you want to turn? Yeah, I'm going to turn one time. Looking right here. And going up. Now we're looking at oblique flexion. Look at that, uh-huh. Oblique flexion now. Hmm. Hmm. How's that? Cool. Now we can look at it. What do you, do you see anything there, Doc? What do you see? You're looking pretty stable so far. Oh, good. I'm stable. Yes. We're looking you heard it. for the bones, how they line up together. And when you're moving, if one falls backwards on one or forward on the uh, one above or below them. Okay, so you're, you're watching here. Look at that. There you go. That is amazing. And you can see it all in motion. motion. How all does in it? motion. And, and to see what your discs are doing. So you're looking at how the front and the back of the discs line up. And if there's any abnormal motion, if one slips forward or slips backwards, it lets you know. This what? view gives us a view of the facet joints, which is... A, further back on yeah. the disc, so that is just letting us know if that opens up abnormally, which is also indica indicative of ligament injury. The so far so are good. Hard to see. Yeah, facet joints are hard to see. Well, we didn't do your other side. Yeah, oh, there's still the chance. facet joints are really hard to examine by MRI and CT. This allows, you to, do allows it. you to actually see the facets in motion. Dr. Sid Sharice Williams, she's got the new technique. It is the DMX motion x-ray. The future of x-ray right there. I look pretty good as a skeleton. You really do, Tim. <laughs> I looked it up. It has the same radiation exposure Thank you. as a regular x-ray. Oh, really? So, yeah, not a lot more at all. No. So, there you have it. Yeah. Well, the time right now is 728.